Do you ever have those moments where you seem to hear a certain guitar sound or effect time and time again until the point that you think you need to add that sound to your arsenal? Well, that doesn't happen to me very often, but over the course of the past year, it did. The sound, or more specifically effect, is in this case an octafuzz, and I'm talking about one with an octave up. I used to have one over 10 years ago, but I quickly got tired of hearing an octafuzz, mainly because Jack White was overusing that effect at the time. But over the course of the past year it made a comeback, and I don't even specifically know where I heard it, but from Ariel Posen to ZZ Top it kept popping up, and I liked it. And then I remembered that cool fuzzy orange looking box that Warm Audio makes, with this vintage vibe and reasonable price. <laughs> So that was kind of a run through of what you can do with this pedal and you don't buy it for its versatility, you buy it to do that one thing. And I bought it because I like how quirky it is, I love the vintage design and I bought it because I think it was good value for money. Now this is a fuzz pedal with a switchable octave up and besides that you have controls for volume, fuzz and tone. I'm running it through a dirty Marshall Plexi because that's how I believe a pedal like this should have to be used and you don't have to use the octave up, you can use it as a regular fuzz as well. <laughs> Throughout this video I've got the controls set the same, I've got the volume at 11 o'clock, the fuzz at 1 o'clock and the tone at noon. And when you use it just as a fuzz you can hear it gets pretty dense and bottomy which you may like but may also likely bury you in a mix. To me it sounds like the octave is still coming through a bit even when it's turned off. It has a vibe but personally I wouldn't use it just for the fuzz. When you flick the switch and turn the octave on it turns into a different animal and I think that's where it shines. Personally, I wouldn't even mind if you were not able to switch the octave off. The octave is glitchy and when you turn the volume of your guitar down, it turns almost into a ring modulator. All the gnarly sounds you can get with the octave, that's where the fun is in my opinion. <laughs>
approximately 10 hours later. <laughs> This might all be fun and games, but you still have to be able to use it in a musical context. And I think you can easily do it with that paddle, as long as you don't overuse it on too many tracks when you're playing with a band. But I could even use this on songs I normally wouldn't choose to use an effect like this. I think as an octopus, it's an extremely cool pedal, it's so much fun to play and interact with, and now I understand why Jack White used one so much back in the day. I still think you should use it sparsely, even though it's hard to resist. This is not a practical pedal though. The knobs don't sit on top, it has no power light indicator, the input and output are switched around, it's big, it's furry, it has rubber feet, it's definitely not pedal board friendly. But for me that's not an issue, I'm not going to put it on a pedal board, for me it's more of a studio tool and if I want to bring it to live shows I bring it along with my talk box and put it in front of my pedal board. Most importantly though, I think it sounds great for what I paid and I can definitely recommend it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and while you're down there please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you next time.